YouTubers. I'm calling Jeff Merkley's office about this. Good afternoon, interview. Senator Merkley's office. Yes, um, my name is Lonnie Clark, and I am calling about uh, the NRC. And I actually am calling because I was really upset. I was reading a story that the NRC basically, against a judge's rule, decided to unilaterally pass a rule that says that they can. Uh, keep nuclear waste on site at all of the nuclear power plants. They just basically, without congressional oversight, voted to vote, they voted to allow nuclear spent fuel to be saved at nuclear waste sites at any place that they wanted to have. Basically giving the licensees the permission to keep the nuclear spent fuel on site instead of, as a judge ordered them in 2012, figure out a place to put this stuff. Yeah, and I'd like them to get involved in actually uh, asserting their rights to oversight because the NRC is out of control. Okay, well, thank you so much. Bye-bye. So that was Jeff Merkley's office. He took note of it, and I watch this what happens when I call Ron White's office. Ron Wyden really expects me to vote for him. That is unbelievable. Really? Check this out. Jeff Merkley's office answered. It's going to go off the hook and tell us that their office is closed. We're sorry, but our office in Washington, D.C. is closed. Ron Wyden's phone number. Two zero two 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 four five two four four. So we're back to Ron Wyden's office, ringing off the hook. Unbelievable rat bastard! Really, he thinks he's liberal. This is why we're screwed, you guys. He thinks he's liberal. No message either. No message machine. Or maybe they'll give us a message machine. <laughs> okay, so then let's do this. I'm calling his Portland office. 503-326-7525. That's Ron Wyden's Portland office. Uh, yes, this is Lonnie Clark, and I'm calling from Eugene, Oregon. That's what can I do for you? Well, you know, I'm going to talk to you first about what I called about, and then I'm going to say something else. Okay. Um, I originally am calling because I was reading a story about the NRC again, completely out of control. I think they did something that the Congress doesn't know about, or if they did, it doesn't sound right. They met last week, or about a week and a half ago, the five board member approved guidance replacing the waste confidence rule. Basically, what they said in their new vote was that all the nuclear power plants can keep the nuclear waste on site which is against the NRC rules. Two years ago, a U.S. Court of Appeals ordered the NRC to consider the possibility of the federal government to take possession of the 70,000 metric tons of spent fuel. Well, they just decided unilaterally that they would just give the licensees the permission to hang on to all the fuel on site and therein put in danger every single community where that nuclear fuel is. And I don't think I don't think that our Congress members were aware of it. I don't believe our senators were aware of this meeting. I would be surprised because I've heard nothing about it. It's only because I pay attention to Fukushima and I'm extremely concerned about the lack of information that our government is giving us about being radiated that I mean, I scour the internet looking for information and I about fell off my socks when I saw this. I couldn't believe it. Okay. I could definitely pass those comments along. With yeah, and I'd really like some action, maybe a hearing or something that how they could justify doing that because this that that's illegal. That's actually an illegal move. They have to have that approved by Congress. They cannot just unilaterally. They don't have the power to do that. As Senator Boxer said in the last hearing, they cannot usurp the power that the Congress has. Only the Senate can help them do this, not them. 
So I hope my senator really gets actively involved in reining that back. Sure, I can definitely, uh, yeah. So then the second thing is, and this was really annoying again, uh, the Washington, D.C. office rang off the hook. I called it, and at first it said that we're closed. The office is closed. Please leave a message. And I went, wait a minute. I think Congress is in session. So I went to the Internet, saw that Congress is in session. I actually called... Senator Jeff Merkley's office at the same time, you know, just to tell him the same message about this because I'm completely freaked out. And so their office answered. In D.C.? Yeah. So I called back Washington, D.C., and the phone rang off the hook again and did not answer, didn't pick up, just rang off the hook. And to be honest, you know me, I've already, I've already split a gut over this one. I'm, I mean, I, I'm done taking it personally. Sorry. It's just bad administration. I'm just going to complain about that. My senator's office needs to answer their phone in Washington, D.C. And so that is still a problem that you guys have got to fix. I understand, and I'm so sorry about that. I know that their phone lines are, are frequently swamped, and I, I understand that that's a... Get in a second line. Yeah. No, we, they have several. We just have an awful lot of constituents calling. Um, and I get, and I, like I said, or I think before, um, you can certainly always reach us here in Portland if you have trouble with D.C., and, and we'll be here for you, too. Okay. Well, that's why I called you. I appreciate you being there. Of course. And, and, this, I, and I will speak to D.C. and just let them know that. And th this NRC thing is a huge issue. It sounds like a small thing, but it is not a very... It's one little tiny earthquake. Can you imagine, you know, like Diablo Canyon, San Onofre, uh, Indian Point with a spent fuel? Imagine if we Indian Point in New York is allowed to have the spent fuel there stored there on site, and New York gets flooded. What will happen? Which is a high probability because we just saw. I mean, in New Jersey, Oyster Creek missed having a nuclear meltdown by six inches. Six inches. If the water had come up six inches more, we would have had our own Fukushima. So... This They cannot just unilaterally say, oh, well, there's nothing we can do about it. We, you can keep it on site. The NRC is, in my view, committing crimes against humanity. I mean, they're not testing our water. The Pacific Ocean is dying. Did you read that article about the animals sitting in Monterey Bay? The seals, the whales... Uh, the dolphins, they're not going out into the deep sea and the scientists are scratching their head going, how come they're not out there? A new story about the uh, sea stars today turning into goo and their babies are just disappearing. The plutonium, there's three types of plutonium pouring into the ocean every single day from Fukushima. Every day for almost four years now. And so... It's a, that's an enormous concern, absolutely. It, and you know what? We need to put our... It's not like I'm saying, you know, we have to just freak out that all is lost, but we need to put scientific money into finding solutions instead of putting scientific money into finding ways to deny that n the negative effects are happening. Certainly. No, I think that's absolutely right. Can I get your zip code so that I can pass all these comments along to the Senator? Yes, it's 97404. Okay, well, thank you very much for your call. I appreciate your concern. And thank you, and I look forward to seeing Senator Wyden speak out publicly on this one. I appreciate your help. Of course. You're welcome. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.